Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the three habits high quality men are attracted to. Those three habits. Uh, really quickly, these are my weekend videos that I shoot out on my balcony, very similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery. This is a group where we do a once a month webinar where you can ask me questions directly. It's a live call. Also, I um, we have a Facebook group where people post questions. And uh, each week I shoot three videos on the group based on the questions you ask. So check out the link below to Midlife Love Mastery. All right, let's talk about those three habits uh, high quality men are attracted to. First off, let's just for the moment say that high quality man or a high quality woman represents an emotionally mature person who has their stuff together, okay? They have their shit together, okay? Let's just establish that that's what we mean by high quality because I don't want to differentiate people from a level of quality, but hey, it's an acronym that, or it's a, it's a label most of you like to learn about, so let's just start from that premise. So from a first date, second date, third date perspective, that's kind of what I want to lean into is the early stages of the dating process. What is someone really attracted to from another person? Like what makes a man want to go out on a second or third date with a, with a woman? So uh, because my specialty is a dating and relationship coach for women. Um, so really quickly, by the way, my mug says, choose today I choose joy and my t-shirt says humankind be both, okay? Which totally relates to this topic. So one of the things that men are highly attracted to is women, uh, high quality men, are attracted to curious women, inquisitive women, women that want to go beyond the surface. I am sad to say that most dating today is just so surface level conversation. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? How was your weekend? I hope you had a nice weekend. Did you have a nice weekend? Oh, did you have a really nice day? I hope you had a nice day. Wow, I really, you know, it's like this kind of crap. What, what if we go deeper? High quality men want women who go deeper and be curious. I'll give you an example of something I did some years ago. Um, I was on a first date with a woman who happened to be an attorney. And, um, and she was a uh, litigation attorney. So I was like, really? Wow. I was just kind of fascinated. I go, wow. I, and I started to ask questions. I was curious. You know, what inspired you to become an attorney? What inspired you? What inspired you to choose litigation law versus intellectual property law versus criminal law? What inspired you? I was curious. And so I did something called drilling down. I, I kind of went an, another level, another level, another level. You know, it's fascinating, ladies. I go out on dates with women and women won't even ask me about, I mean, I'm a dating and relationship coach for women. You would think that would be tons of fun conversation. I've gone on dates with women who refuse to even talk to me about my professional life. And I'm rather bored. You know what I mean? To me, that's something I'm very proud of. So lean into a guy's profession, lean into it and be curious. Go another layer, another layer, another layer underneath by being inquisitive. What inspired you to choose that? What inspired you to do such? Okay? Be curious, be inquisitive. Always be inquisitive, always be curious. And let me just say this, this, is, this doesn't mean being in an, in an interrogation on a date. This simply means being curious on the date. Okay, the second thing. Um, high quality men are attracted to women who are contributors, contributors. So let me set the stage because this is something a lot of you are gonna disagree with me. So let me just set that stage right now. Um, most first dates today are with strangers. We're meeting people through the internet. So it's not a legitimate date. First, it's really a meeting with another person. It's a meeting. So when two people connect from the internet, it's like the guy might take the initiative and take the lead by making the suggestions and doing the planning just because we've been, you know, we've been imprinted to do that. But the reality is, is it's two people meeting as if it was two friends meeting. And something that's very highly attractive to a man who's a woman who's a woman who's a contributor. So when a man, and by the way, 
um, men typically pay for the first dates. I mean, that's just socialization. We're used to that. But what we're really attracted to is a woman who makes the effort, who either makes the effort by saying, hey, can I contribute? Can I treat? Can I pick up the tip? Can I pick up the valet? Can I do something to contribute to this? Now, some of you are saying, well, if the man did the asking, he's supposed to do the paying. Ladies, listen. I understand that's where you're coming from, but I want you to know that this is what we're attracted to. And I share this story over and over again. I went on a first date with a woman who, um, <laughs> you know, I, I picked up the tab at the bar for the first round and came up for the second round. And um, she goes, I've got it. And I go, no, I've got it. And she goes, I got it. And we got into a little pissing match. Now what happened next, I'm gonna to wait to the very end of this video to share because this is hugely important to understand what made me very attracted to her, okay? Um, but the third thing I wanna lean into is being vulnerable, being vulnerable. Ladies, I know you're afraid. You're, you're afraid to be <laughs> afraid. You're afraid to be afraid. In other words, you're afraid to express yourself with a man, but a man who's a high quality man isn't afraid of your fear. So it's okay to be vulnerable on a first date. It's okay to lean in and share a concern you might have about the dating process. You may be concerned about the relationship process. It's okay to be vulnerable because a high quality man is gonna lean into your vulnerability because he's already secure in who he is. He already loves himself. And this is why I'm such a big proponent of reading two books in particular. First, reading the book Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. This teaches you how to be, how to express your vulnerability in a way that's seen, heard, and understood. So check out the link to Jonathan Recommends books. I highly recommend checking out my book or this book, excuse me. Now my book is called What the Heck is Self Love Anyway? <laughs> if you've ordered my book, please post a comment below. I'm very grateful for you. This is about learning how to be vulnerable. This is how to communicate vulnerability. This teaches you how to be vulnerable. I take you on a journey of personal development, self-help and spiritual work. So you can become more vulnerable because quite frankly, a high quality man is going to be able to lean into your vulnerability. You don't have to lean back. You can lean into your vulnerability with a high quality man. Now, this doesn't mean vomiting your fears, okay? This doesn't mean just vomiting drama and fears, but it's okay to say, look, I have some concerns because of my past and I want to communicate this with you and I wanna have a dialogue with you. That's absolutely what a high quality man will appreciate. I once did on a first date uh, with a woman, I said, hey, let's both share our red flags. And what I mean to say is, what could be something you could be concerned about, about me and tell me something I could be concerned about you. And we shared it and we had this great dialogue together. It was a great conversation. It wasn't, how you doing? How's the weather? How's the pool over there? How's the balcony over there? How's the sunset? Let's go deeper because the deeper we go, the stronger roots we build to trust. And that's ultimately what you want, strong roots to trust. Is this sinking in? I hope so. This is one of the reasons why I highly recommend checking out the book, If the Buddha Dated. If the Buddha dated, this is more of a spiritual way to date, a more human kind way to date. Because I wanna go back to that money piece because I know this is a real issue for many of you, but I wanna tell you what happened. But before I do, I wanna share with you, if you're not familiar with Matthew Hussey's work, Google Matthew Hussey on YouTube and paying for a date. I love the way he talks about paying for dates. He goes, he goes, I treat someone on a first date the way I treat a friend of mine, a friend of mine. Like I'm, I'm meeting a friend. I don't have expectation of another human being. Now he says, if a man was raised right, he will pay. And if a woman was raised right, she would offer to pay. But I wanna go a little bit deeper here. This is hugely important and this is valuable. This is why this is so critically important. I know a lot of you are upset with this, but just hear me out for a second. So this woman I went on a date with, I said, uh, second round at the bar came up and I go, I've got it. And she goes, I've got it. And I go, I've got it, she's got it. And we got into a little pissing match. She put her hand on my arm and she said, Jonathan, 
I really appreciated that you picked up the last round. Would you allow me to show my appreciation by contributing and picking up this round? Will you allow me to show my appreciation? Now, I was floored in that moment. And because I'm capable of receiving love, that's what she was doing. She was offering love in that moment. Not, I love you, just love, compassion, kindness, humankind. I said yes. And what I later realized that this is a person I could be in partnership with. And while we didn't go the distance because it was a long distance relationship and we had some, we weren't in alignment with one another, what I realized was I could see her as a partner because she showed up as a contributor. Excuse that uh, horn right now. She showed us as a contributor on the very first date. And that's what a high quality woman does. And, and again, you can beef all you want, but that's my suggestion to you. If you want to establish how you can be attracted to a high quality man, be inquisitive, be a contributor, and be vulnerable, because that's gonna make a big difference to a high quality guy. Low quality guy, who cares? All right, I hope you got value from this video. Uh, if you have any questions, if you wanna post a comment, if you're gonna disagree with me, go ahead. I'm okay, I can handle it. <laughs> I'm a human. I can handle it. Um, uh, as always, and by the way, if you think you'd like to have more of a personal touch, check out the link to a free discovery call to see if working with the coach is right for you. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up on this video as I always do, but now with my teddy bear. First off, I'm gonna give myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone or a pet or even a teddy bear and give it a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.